Today we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Optronics LED trailer lights of grommets and pigtails, part number TLL12RK. Here's what our taillight kit looks like installed. Now what's great about this taillight kit compared to others on the market is that this is a kit that has everything we need. We have a taillight assembly for each side of our trailer. We also have our new grommets to secure the taillight into place and have the included wiring plug that we need in order to install it. Other options out there, you either sell the light individually, don't have the grommet, or you don't have the plug. This has everything you need to get going. It's also a great way to convert your trailer over to having LED lights versus old style incandescent bulbs. Now, this assembly has six LEDs inside the red polycarbonate lens. We also have a polycarbonate housing, which is sonically sealed, which means that this light is waterproof and is submersible, which makes it a great solution for those of you out there with boat trailers. The flush mounted design takes up hardly any space on our trailer at all, so we don't have to worry about crashing our light into something and damaging it. Not only do we have our tail light feature built into it, but we also have our turn signal and brake light as well. So we have all the features we need to be safe and legal in one assembly. Now when the light is running at 12.8 volts, we're only drawing 0.161 amps for our stop and our turn signal functions and only 0.007 amps for our tail lights. Now our lights are especially bright at night and very bright during the day, so we don't have to worry about anybody not seeing our trailer. They'll know if we're making a turn, slowing down, or if we're towing a trailer at night, they'll be able to see us clearly and easily. Now the main advantage you're going to have with having LED trailer lights compared to your standard incandescent lights is that LED lights last up to 50 times longer than standard incandescent light bulbs. They also are brighter while drawing less power and we don't have to worry about having any brittle filaments inside of our light bulbs that can be damaged as we travel across rough terrain with our trailer. Now for a few measurements for you. Overall width of our tail light assembly, you're looking at seven and nine sixteenth of an inch from here to here. It's two and three quarters of an inch tall from here to here. And then the overall depth of the assembly from the edge of our lens to the end of our connector housing here we're looking at an inch and three quarters. To begin our install, we'll be working on the back left corner of our trailer. The passenger side's the same way, the only difference being instead of having a yellow wire like we do on the driver's side, we'll have a green wire in its place. Now on the driver's side, this yellow wire here is for our left turn signal and left brake light. We'll strip off a little bit of insulation from it. With the insulation stripped back, We'll take a blue 14 to 16 gauge heat treat butt connector, which we have available on our website, and we'll crimp that down. Now we'll take our red wire from our three prong connector, strip back a little insulation, and we'll place that into the other end of our butt connector. And we'll crimp that as well. Now we'll take our black wire from our harness, Strip back a little insulation. We'll place on another one of those butt connectors onto the black wire, crimp it. Now we'll take our tail light wire from our trailer, which is the brown wire, strip off some insulation, and we'll place that into the butt connector that's on the black wire. Now this white wire with the ring terminal off of our harness is our ground wire. We need to attach this directly to our trailer frame we already have a small pilot hole right here, drilled behind our tail light housing. And we'll use a self-tapping screw to secure this to that hole. That'll give us a nice solid ground connection. Now we'll use a heat gun, which we have available on our website to shrink down our butt connectors. We're using a heat gun versus a lighter because a heat gun provides a source of indirect heat and is not a direct flame, which will damage our connectors. Okay, now we'll take our grommet, pass our wires through the middle of it, and push it into place on the frame of our trailer. 
Now we will take our light, peel off the protective cover. We'll match up our plug. It only goes in one way. We'll just push it until it locks into place. Now we'll place our wires inside, making sure they're not going to get trapped by our light assembly. And then we'll push the light assembly into our grommet where it locks into place. We went ahead and repeated the same process on the other side. We have our trailer plugged into a trailer tester right now. We'll verify all of our functions are working properly. We'll start by testing our tail lights and turning our unit on. Then we'll do our left turn signal. Our brake lights. And our right turn signal. And that completes our look at and showing you how to install the Optronics LED trailer tail lights with grommets and pigtails, part number TLL12RK.